We're just on the hunt now trying to find where we're staying. We're in a bit of a hustle. We have to move quite quick now because we're running out of time before we have to go out and catch up with our friends. I think it's over that way, babe. Okay. Over that way. Man, I just love the look of London. I know we're in a hurry, but... Just look at this. This is something we're a little bit sad to say. We say this every time we leave somewhere. Every time we leave somewhere, it feels like we're leaving at home. Yeah, it does, eh? But we are on the way to the airport this morning. Leaving Croatia is what leaving we were sad about. Croatia. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> we skimmed over that. We knew. Yeah. Anyway, get to the point. Um, yeah, we're leaving Croatia and we are flying to London. We are going to check out the coast of England. So we've just spent, obviously, so much time sharing how beautiful the coast of Croatia is and we have heard ever since I, I was young I've heard about how beautiful the coast of England is but to me to us like yeah every English, it's not there every English person you, person you <laughs> speak to is like oh have you been to to the coast nope <laughs> but we're finally going to tick that box and spend a few days exploring a whole bunch of areas which we'll go into in more detail later on mm -hmm. but for now we are about to head to the airport So this is the Split Airport, which is only like 10 minutes from Trogea and like maybe 30 minutes from Split apparently. It's very nice looking, there's a lot of work being done over there that just showed. We're wondering where all the people were, we just figured out, they just showed up in the buses. <laughs> it's very quiet, but that's because it is only 8 o'clock in the morning now. It's time to go in and then I think we've got a couple of hour flight, it shouldn't be too bad. That's the first time we've ever come across an airport that has all flights. Literally everybody was just going to the same counter. Nobody was like the, the, the staff working there didn't have like the badges for like the airline that they were working for or anything. It was just literally like they checked in everybody. And this is not actually a small airport. Like I know there's a lot of construction that I showed out the window uh, on the way to just now, but it's actually decently sized. We've been to some tiny airports before and even they have these small little individual segmented lines. So it was a, a little bit random. We've just stopped now. For a coffee by default obviously because we were so close to the airport it just happened so quickly now we've got all of this time to kill so we're just quickly planning because there's is there three or four airports in london I, th I think it's three or four airports in london alone and so people often make the mistake of flying into the wrong one and thinking they're really close to town we're flying into luton which is miles away basically so we have to figure out how we're going to get from luton on like a bit of a mission like a maybe a bus and then a train and then we don't know yet but it's going to be fun. it's going to be fun to figure out Welcome to London, we made it. That was actually a pretty painless flight. Despite the landing coming in, we were absolutely rocking. It was pretty chaotic. It's not too bad weather-wise. It's actually it's 16 degrees, which is definitely colder than split. Um, and I don't think it's gonna be dreamy like the further along we go to the coast of like Cornwall and stuff. I don't think it's gonna progressively get warmer. I don't think that's quite the way that it works here. Uh, and sadly, not like the way it is in Croatia. But we've figured out our little uh, conundrum about how we get to we were staying so the first thing we had to do was pick up a shuttle bus which we got on very quickly that was like 250 each or 250 yeah. 250 pound each to get us to Kensington Park uh, station which is where we're now going to catch a tube parkway. sorry parkway we're going to catch like a tube where we've prepaid online already but you can very easily pay when you're here as well so feeling like I can tell that I'm talking fast because we've been hustling a little bit as soon as we got off that flight we're just waiting for a lift now to take us to the train oh it's just over Four, four for the train. Oh, we actually don't know which one we're on. This one, I think. One? Are we going, uh, is it to London? Two, yeah. Yeah, two. And there we go. And then we're on our way. Yay! So this train cost us £14.70 each. 
quite pricey to get around in London if you if you it's haven't so far away, if you it? haven't travelled there before. It's definitely it's definitely on the upside of as far as like cities go when it comes to cost, isn't it? So I think yes. And so I think after this, we catch this train and then we have to maybe catch a tube or catch an Uber. Oh, another one still. Yeah. So three different forms of transport just to get to our place. Wish us luck. If you're coming to London, this is the app to use. It's called City Mapper and it covers buses, cycling, that's interesting, tube and Uber and absolutely everything. This is this is the one to help you out. You can tell that it's definitely got a little bit colder just sitting here and waiting. The puffer jacket. The puffer is out. as everything's gone, it's definitely not easy landing at Luton. It's just, it's just such a mission to absolute, it's just, yeah, it's niggling. It's not a mission because everything ran really nice. The train was really new and ran perfectly on time. In fact, it was early. The express stuff was really easy as well, so that, that's fun. Now we're at St Pancreas International, which is somewhat central in London, but we do have to now catch an Uber or potentially the tube to get to where we are staying. Uh, it's default option though, we've come to Pre. If you haven't heard about this place before, it's like a, it's sort of like, I don't know if you would call it like an institution, like a Starbucks style thing. It's like quick and easy and fresh. And they have brownie. Stace isn't talking because she's absolutely starving, so she's like smashing into a couple of sandwiches here. Um, it's like a, it's the go-to place for quick and easy sandwiches and everything. If you have been to London and you haven't been to Pratt, then you actually haven't been to London. I think that's the way that it works. It's always really interesting getting people's thoughts on what they think about the city. Yeah, I'm curious to know if you've been here before or even if you haven't, what your thoughts are. Let us know below because we have friends that absolutely love it here. We like it, but it's just too cold for us and it's too vast. We like smaller cities than this. Please keep all your personal belongings with you at all times. <laughs> Can you believe that it's sunny in London? We've got you? sun, <laughs> Puff, puffer jackets and sunshine. Really That's what we need, we've got puffer jackets on and then we put our sunglasses on. We're just on the hunt now trying to find where we're staying. We're in a bit of a hustle, we have to move quite quick now because we're running out of time before we have to go out and catch up with our friends. I think it's over that way babe. Okay. Over that way, man I just love the look of London. I know we're in a hurry but... Just look at this. I don't know what it is about London, but just the way that these streets look. It's so similar yet so... Okay, let's go, let's bust it. It's so similar yet so foreign. And there's just always like a little bit of a breeze and you're always like rugged up and there's like leaves everywhere at the moment. I don't know. It's, 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 there's something beautiful about it. If you want to see more of our adventures in London, we've got uh, I think maybe three or four vlogs from about six months ago when we passed through here. Oh, sunshine. I'm just cracking up behind you the whole way because you're like, we got to hustle, we got to hustle, and then you're like, wow, it's so beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> it took like 10 minutes to like take it in. Never, never don't stop to appreciate, right? I get it, but also like, let's go. <laughs> Made it. That Finally. Was, 
It was a big travel day for us, but it was probably quite a short video for you guys. Plane, shuttle, yeah. train, underground, five, walking. Five, six, and then a 10 minute walk, five or six different modes of transport. Let's just call it 12. We did 12 different modes of transport 14 today. different modes of transport <laughs> is the name of this vlog. <laughs> so this has all just been a complete travel day, but uh, we've mentioned it a few times just because we're excited. Tomorrow is going to be completely different. Yes. Thanks for putting up with us. We appreciate it. We've been a bit crazy today. Honestly, we only had, we didn't mention it this morning, we only had, I think, about three hours sleep. I'm so tired. I'm absolutely exhausted. We've got an early start. Okay, All right. let's well, go and see you Ruby so and Grant. Oh. Sorry, go again. Thank you so much for watching. Catch you in the comments. Bye! What a smoothling it is. That train was really nice. Was, um, everything ran nice and nice. Everything. Not a wheel. Wow. Just got here. <laughs>